What's up guys and welcome back to Plants vs. Zombies Heroes and today we're going to be going ahead and doing Zombie Mission 11 Hot Lava Deadlock. I think it's going to be against Captain Combustible, we'll find out together right here right now, it will be. Which is interesting because the Captain Combustible, the first Captain Combustible one, really wasn't that long ago, it was like Mission 7 or 8, so it's weird to throw it back in there right away, but who are we going to use today? We should probably actually check out our missions and decide that way, we get to see him on the top left here. Gigantic Gargantuars, play three. So either the Smash or Electric Boogaloo, I think we'll go with the Smash today. I think he'll be a good counter to Captain Combustible, it's probably entirely wrong. Let's take a look at this deck and see what kind of uh, Gargantuars he has in there, if any, right now. I'm pretty sure that he can hold, yeah, he has two in there right now. And we can put in another one, right? Mm, maybe not, maybe not. I know that I have another Gargantuar in which way you can play, um, like, you know, like he'll spawn in a what's it called, like a little swabby once he gets hit, but maybe that is not available for this match. It's not looking like it. So it looks like we're gonna be able to pass on that one. But that's hey, okay. Besides that, I've messed around with this guy's deck a little bit, and I do like it how it is. Um, I think the only thing I'd change is. I would like to get a flag zombie in there. We are actually we already have two, never mind. If there's any way I can get more pet zombies in there, and either it be a 1 1 pet or otherwise. Let's see what we can change up. Like maybe get rid of one sumo to get in there and because when we can get that combo, it's so juicy. So let's go ahead and just keep two sumos so that we can get the squirrel tamer in there because she's an animal one. She's a pet zombie. I think that'll be a lot better. Of course, we can throw this dude in there and do some sports zombie combos. All sports zombies can't be hurt this turn. But I feel like it's like having both animals and sports is just sort of too crowded. So I think this is what's gonna be best for us right now. Let's go ahead and play some. I haven't played since the last episode. Oh man, I've been in the mood to play the game now. I've been in the mood to earn up some gems and everything, so hopefully we have a nice good time here. Thank you guys so much for some, your support on this series being back. It's been so much fun playing this game again. And I'm hoping you guys can agree and enjoy it and all that kind of stuff. We're gonna reroll this, yep. Okay, we can make something out of this. We can definitely make something out of that that hand right there. I'm already seeing some combos, and ooh, that could be a good card when you get a nasty. Like, when you have a nastily strong card early game, throw this all in there, and you can win so quick. My Hero Tron's malfunction is not a complete misfortune. The blast is having a strange effect. Read this reading and weep with joy. Uh, big time. Throughout this mission, all zombies and plant fighters get plus one one at the start of their each turn. Interesting, so this 2-2, two, two, I don't wanna throw that out actually right now, let me keep with the baseball star. Is this gonna become a 2-2? Two, two? No? Having a hard time understanding what that means. Maybe I missed right in. What is getting a plus one one? I have no clue. Oh, there you go, at the end of the first turn. So if it can survive the end of the first turn, that's when it's gonna get pretty good. So what I'm gonna do, you might be like, oh yeah, I wanna play this right now, but I don't want to right now because I don't want it to get taken out by the end of the turn. So why don't we go ahead, we'll play this here, and we'll see what he plays. And if he doesn't play anything, that'll be great. Oh, okay, see that's what I was worried about. I was worried he was gonna throw that onto this guy right here. So I'm glad I threw that baseball star out first. And that's exactly what I wanted you to do, dude. I wanted you to go ahead and do whatever you're gonna do here. We do sort of, I feel like zombies do have a tactical advantage over plants, especially in a situation like this. So, boom, gonna smack you. And nice, 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 looking good. All right. Ooh, okay, we got a good hand going on here. Wonder if you'll destroy one of their nuts or berries. All right then. So we don't wanna do that just yet, but I can play this right here, boom. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get a boost for the both of them. And then they're gonna be even stronger by the end of the term. So survive ability is really important in this set against Captain Combustible because if we can get them to the end of their first turn, they're gonna be stronger than ever, no matter how strong they were at the beginning. And that's really good. Like now we have a really strong setup here and I'm gonna make them all stronger. Why not? I mean, I could have played him and get a tactile advantage for the future, but I'm not gonna worry about that right now. Hmm. Honestly, I think I can handle this. Ooh, I really can handle this. Let's go ahead, throw this out. It's gonna go ahead and boost all the health of all the zombies, and it's also another pet, so it counts. Oh, that's so good! And now we're gonna put the frenzy on this guy, which means he's going to take care of the pair, he's gonna take care of the other pair, and then he's gonna hit Captain Combustible, because how a frenzy works is if it takes care of a plant, that zombie attacks again, and if it takes care of another plant, the zombie will attack again. So, ooh, there you go, take care of that pair. Takes four damage, it's A-OK. -okay. Boom, take care of another pair and just smack him. And look at that, ooh, he's getting the shield though. We're gonna win anyways, aren't we? Ooh, 
that was a good start. And that's why I wanted all those animals and all those pet zombies to be stacked up and ready to go right away. That was really good. That was a good start. Like, I'm feeling good with this. I feel like this is something I can work with a lot better, especially with the Smash. Since the Smash feels a little more defensive, I think that that's something we could really take big advantages with. So let's keep playing. Keep on going through Hot Lava Deadlock. Going against Wall Knight here. And Wall Knight be, might be a little scary. I feel like Wall Knight is going to be the hero we have some issues with. So we're going to have to see how this works out. Hello, Wall Knight, how are you? All right. So this isn't too bad at all. Once again, a good starting hand. I honestly don't think I'm gonna change anything here. I would like something like a baseball star to play so I don't have to waste the skunk, but I mean, I'd rather waste the skunk than anything else, you know, like big time throughout this mission. Give you a, so it's the same thing every time. So let's go ahead and play that here. I mean, it might just be that he, yeah, he doesn't play anything. I had a feeling, because sometimes Wall Knights just sort of do that. Wall Knights don't always have the best early game, but that mid, -game, mid to late game can be really scary going against them. The only problem now is I don't have anything to boost this guy with, so honestly, I'm just gonna go ahead and throw the sumo out there and see what happens with that. Let's see, your hero can't be hurt this turn, draw a card. Honestly, that's the least scary thing he could have played, besides nothing. <laughs> so I'm totally cool with that. It just gives us more time to get our guys nice, buffed, and ready. I mean, we're building up a repertoire that's hard for him to go against, even if we're not doing any damage. All right. So is he getting a plus one one at the end of every turn, not just their first turn? Because he just got a plus one one there. That's where Catholic Combustible could be scary because he's already about explosive damage. So if we could just control the early game, which is what we're doing with the cards that we have, we can win this super easy. All right, I'm gonna go ahead. I wish I could move him with the sumo, but I can't. Honestly, I'm gonna boost you and make you nice and scary. We're gonna go ahead and I wanna put the I'll put the frenzy on you right now. Like, I'm just sort of preparing for the future using the brains I have now so I don't run out later and, and I'll boost your guys' health. Maybe that's something I should have held on with, but I'm gonna do four damage here. Like, that's still good no matter what. And you're gonna take care of half of him, so that's good. All right, see, now we can start comboing some stuff up here. We could, ooh, and he gets a plus one one. That's where it gets scary. That's where it gets really, really scary. Oh, this is gonna be tough to work out. But we can still, like, we're in the lead. Oh, yikes. Okay, what does this guy do? I think, when your nuts get hurt, do two damage to the zombie hero. All right. Hmm. That stinks, but it'll be fine. Like, we're gonna take some damage ourselves here. Like, there's good, it's good we're gonna take six damage here, guaranteed. Which stinks, but we'll be able to remedy it by the next turn. All right. And we'll still be able to do three direct damage, so it's like we're even right now, we're even. And we're still getting pretty close to our shield activation as well. All right, I can make this work. I'm gonna put you over there, and honestly, I'm not gonna even worry about, uh, what is this, the Iron Maiden? The Juggernaut. All right, then. I mean, it's just called the Iron Na Maiden Garden Warfare 2, but names are names. That's all they are. Uh-oh, that's a scary card, to be honest. A zombie gets minus one, one, minus two, two, okay. I think it's gonna get minus two, two, then. No, that was just minus one, one. All right then, we're gonna boost everybody's health. Not gonna be a big issue. And I'll be able to frenzy you, take you out right away. You're gonna do two damage to me, I think. Yeah, but I can shield it. Mm, if I get the right card here, I did not get the right card. Heal your hero for six. I'll throw that out now. I was hoping for the destroy a plant if it has less than four health, because I could throw that on this very guy right here. It would be so good, but that's not gonna happen in this situation. That's A-okay. Oh, he, he shielded that, but that's okay. I'm about to win. Let's see how this works. Oh, he moved that, but I'm still gonna take control of this game. I feel like our deck works perfectly for this situation, which was just complete luck. Obviously, I didn't know going into it, so. That was awesome. I'm having a good time so far. We're 10 minutes into the video. We're rolling these guys down. Awesome. Let's go ahead with the third battle. It's gonna be against Captain Combustible again. Captain Combustible is such a cool character, though. Just because he's sort of like out of left field compared to all the other plants. Like, all the other plants, like, you sort of get it, but like, Captain Combustible is like, whoa, didn't expect a Torchwood to be his own hero, you know? But that's pretty cool. All right, then. So, I'm gonna reroll you. That's a very potential filled hand there. If I could get a baseball, baseball zombie. Oh, I did not get a baseball zombie, but I got something almost as good. All right, then. So, I'm gonna go ahead. As long as he. That's the thing. Oh no, I pressed the wrong button. Okay, that's actually really risky. <laughs> Whoopsie daisy. Huh. This is crucial that I do this correctly because I can make some really powerful setups here. 
I'm gonna do that for right now. I'm not gonna play those guys until the next turn. Because I got some crazy good setups here that I don't want to mess up. That actually really ruins it. This has actually gone bad really fast because I made that mistake in the first turn to not play anything. That was an honest mistake. Because we could get some good things going on that that flag zombie could have really helped. But I mean, we still got this. Like, we can still get some good stuff done here. It's just not going to be as good right away. Especially when that guy's smacking on me right now. And honestly, I just sort of have to ignore it. We'll make that happen. Wow, okay, I, this is gonna go bad fast. And this is where I'm saying Captain Combustible is good at exactly what he's doing, which is why this plus one at the end of every turn is really good for him. If I don't get that control in that first and second turn, it's over. All right, I wanna put, no, I gotta play you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna play you because it's gonna be like double damage for everybody because this buff can work twice. See, look, he's gonna get double the damage from both guys which is crazy, crazy good. All right. Ooh, that's bad. <laughs> oh, I love that card. There's a reason why I love that grape card. Now you see it. And I'm done for it. Wow, that was a crazy game. I really messed it up. Unfortunately, that's sort of how it happens, but if I didn't mess up that first turn, I think I would've won. All right then, so we got a good start, but <laughs> what is with the little flag? Is that is that a new thing? Oh no, that's the imp. The imp, I've never noticed that. I'm not sure if that's always been a thing, but the imp is holding up like a little uh, we surrender flag. That's cute. Let's try this again for the top. If I don't make the mistake of immediately skipping my first turn, and I get a good starting hand again, which it's like, it's pretty easy to get a good starting hand with this deck I have set up. I mean, with that being so it's probably gonna get ruined now. I'm gonna have like the worst starting hand ever. Like I need to get rid of you, and I'm gonna get rid of you. I'm gonna hold on to it because I do not want to risk getting a better card or a worse card than what I got right now because I can survive with this stuff. I can survive past the first turn. And that's sort of the thing. I need to come out on top. I need to either make sure that I get rid of his card in that first turn or I come out with one card and he comes out with none. That's always the goal. And that's why Wall Knight was such an easy guy to go against in this situation because he just doesn't work with that situation. But let's go ahead and get Conehead out because Conehead can be really hard to fight, about, fight against. Wow. If I was him, I would have totally gone ahead and used that to destroy Conehead because the Conehead zombie, because my Conehead's gonna get scary because when you get an armored zombie that's getting more health over time, I do not wanna mess with that. I don't see how anyone can. All right. Hmm. Okay, I have my strategy in. I'm gonna go ahead and play you. And hopefully he doesn't have any buffs. Oof, that's scary. But that's okay, I can work with that, because I'm gonna get rid of him. Once again, if I can just come out of every turn with me on top of the field, I will win this. So there you go. Boom, and that's really good. The fact that I got that figured out right there, that's really, really good. Because now I can get some really good stuff going. Ooh, yes I can. All right, so let's get that there. And I could play, I'm gonna play this guy for now. I could play you. But I wanna go ahead and get that health buff out, out, out there right now because I knew you were gonna do that or something similar. I got rid of my skunk punk, but that's okay. We'll make this work. Cause look at that, a four six cone head? That is so scary. I mean, just a four six armored health. Like that's the thing. Armored health can be so hard to manage cause you need that much more to fight against it. He's down to nine health. I am down to 13, but I can make that work. I wanna put this there. That's gonna give everybody a boost except for the cone head. Which he don't need no boost, he's a conehead. And like, look at that, plus four. I'm sorry, buddy, that's not gonna be enough. Poor, poor Mr. Dude here. Oh no, ooh, oh, it might be. So that's where he's good at right here. Like, okay, it'll be enough to take care of my conehead, but he had to sacrifice all of that just to do it, and the game's gonna end before he even has a chance to. <laughs> oh man, these games are quick. I like this setup. Like, I wanna be, like, it would be cool if they had like different game modes you could play online that had these different stipulations like these have, you know? Cause that'd be so much fun. I put a Gargantua there? Or maybe I put a Gargantua before this episode started and I was making progress through the quest. Cause I haven't played a Gargantua yet. Unless playing Smash special cards counts as playing a Gargantua cause he is a Gargantua. Would that count? Maybe. I'm not sure. Let's go against Nightcap. All right then, Nightcap. What do you want from me? What do you want from me? I don't know. I don't know if Nightcap talks. He seems like the strong silent type. 
Or the dark type. Yeah, the silent dark type. Like, ooh, don't talk to me. I'm going through an angsty time in my life. All right. That's an interesting combo. If we can get the, the zoologist, you know, zookeeper. Is it? Uh, something like that. All right, then. Big time, blah, blah, blah. I want to be able to play him sometime today. So hopefully that happens. It's going to be, like, the quickest episode we've had in, like, 20 episodes. Right, I want to throw you out just because you're just such a good turn one card. We'll be able to survive here. And then it'll be a 3-2 card by the end of this. And that'll be good. Coming out on top, man. Coming out on top. Now, I'm still not the most familiar in the world with... Um, Nightcap. So I'm really not sure what the best strategy against him is. He's going to bounce around a zombie. But so far, and this is a little tricking. Ooh, that's not good. Hey, that's fine. I'll just throw that on you. It's going to make you a 3-3. Three, three. You're going to damage first. Oh, no. It's going to make you... Oh, is that a plus one? Oh, it was. Or plus two tune. So now you're gonna be a 5-5 five, five card. That is, that is all kinds of scary. And here are my two Gargantuars. If I can play them, that'd be great. I'm just gonna get you guys out here. Like, I don't have my Zookeeper, but I don't need it. At this rain. Like, what is he gonna, he's gonna do that? Okay, do that. Yeah, this is scary for Nightcap. Poor, poor Nightcap. I hope you're not allergic to skunks. All right, down to 5-3. Oh, wow, you can, oh yeah, that's right. Damage is a random thing. Okay. This does all sports zombies get. I probably should replace this card. I don't think this is really fitting in my deck right now, but it'll help for now. I mean, at the, at the least, it boosts itself. I mean, I don't have that many cards, though, and that's why I'm not able to have a 100% themed deck. Next turn, I hope he's able to take care of one of my zombies here. I probably shouldn't have even played anything. All right, so he's gonna go ahead and get rid of that. Oh, I see, I see. Not a bad idea there. All right, so he gets a shield. He's not gonna do anything with it. Hit him with two there. He's gonna get down to eight. This is gonna be an even trade right here, one for one. All right, then let's play our Gargantuar pal here. And everybody gets nice and boosted. Ooh, I love that. All right, so we're gonna win this turn, but I at least got one more Gargantuar out there, so I just need to play one more in general, and then I win. All right, get rid of that. Get rid of that health. Mm -mm. Oh, he got the shield there. Make two, ooh, if he gets lucky. If he gets lucky, let's see. Ooh, oh wait, wait, well, that doesn't matter, we have Frenzy. <laughs> Sorry, you weren't that lucky. I mean, you could have gotten the Insta Shield, but that would have been crazy lucky. All right then, so that's four out of five done already, not even 20 minutes. Brains. All right, so if we could play one more Gigantor in the next turn, in the next game, that'd be great. But now it's time for the boss. I'm not sure what the boss stipulation will be because obviously it's on top of the already existing stipulations. Either it's gonna be really easy, it's gonna be one of the easiest bosses yet, or one of the hardest ones I have a feeling. Like it's gonna be one or the other, like no in the middle. Yeah, da da da. All right then, Captain Gabaspa, what do you got thrown at me this time? It's gonna be, oh, he has 35 health. We have Oso, so he gets plus 15, I get plus 10. I'm gonna reroll this, and I'll keep with all that. That's not horrible. It's not the best, but it's not horrible for sure. All right, boss battle it is. All right, so Captain Combustible starts with Fussy. Yeah, okay then. Toast that tree. <laughs> Will do, dude. And we got big time. We know about that, though. So I'm just going to put a Skunk Punk out. He's probably going to match it. No, he isn't. He's actually just going to keep his own thing out there. I can make that work. I think, maybe. It'll be a bit of an odd situation, but... So this gives me a plus one one. So I could actually play this. He's gonna think, oh, it's gonna be cannon fodder, but then I can play this and sort of double up. Ah, okay, so he's playing defensive. Ooh, no, he's not. He's playing rough. Hmm, that's gonna be a little scary to go against. Oh. The decisions, oh no, that's not gonna be worth doing. I could take him out right here and now though. I think I have to. This is an unfortunate situation here. Cause he's actually put me in a pickle, but I can take care of his Torchwood. It's just he'll have a little, he'll have the upper hand on me here. Which once again, that's not what you want in this situation. Hmm. All right, so I'm gonna play you because that just means free cards. Like these two cards will be free. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do this. It's gonna give me plus two health. So he's still not gonna be able to survive that one. No, he won't be able to. All right. I mean, luckily, ooh. Let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, and he won't be able to survive this, but, hmm. 
It's like you can't play the way I normally play defensively. That's the thing, you can't play defensively with this setup, with this stipulation. I mean, with this, like, why I like the flag zombie in this situation is because you can play so many cards because, you know, you can get free cards. And it's like, the more cards you have out in the field, the more that are gonna get that 1-1 one, one boost at the end of the turn, but he's definitely having an upper hand, like, intentionally or not. Like, I can't take him out this next turn. Well, I might be able to, actually, now that I think about it. This is minus 1-1. One, one. Ooh, I really wish it wasn't. I wish it was minus 1-2 or something, you know? We're out of cards, too. It's really hard to figure out what we're gonna do here. Like, we're gonna be able to take care of the Podfather if, oh, now we cannot. Ooh, this is scary. What can I do really besides that? You know, I'm gonna try to get rid of that pea shooter, but with the Podfather, this is a scary combo. He got a good start. Worked out pretty darn well for him. It's gonna be a tough boss, I think. Yeah, I don't know if we're gonna win this here. Like, I mean, we got a lot of health left, but I mean, you can see how far this has gone downhill right now. And getting cards where he can't fight them, though, is a good start, but I need something. I need to be able to start well because I don't have any cards that are gonna get me more cards back. And now it's a little bit of a situation because he's getting rid of everything I have. If I could get a shield soon, that might be able to change things up for me, but I'm not even getting too lucky with that. All right, plus two, two. I might as well throw this onto him because he's gonna die the next turn anyways. I'm pretty sure. Well, yeah, yeah, he's gonna die the next turn, so. There's five down, and of course he gets the insta shield. A plant is a bonus, Oh, that's nasty. Yeah, we're done for it. I don't think it's gonna work out. All right, so we got six frames to play a sumo. Oh no, oh no indeed. All right, it's GG. We tried our best, unless we can get some crazy, crazy insta shields here and like maybe if we can get the pea shooter to hit us normally and then this guy gives us, you know, this guy will take us out. But please, insta shield. No insta shield from me. Why is he getting insta shield? I don't get an insta shield, fine game. We'll just have to try it again. We'll try it again for the top without cutting out or anything. See how it works out. If it works out, good, good. But in that, but after that, like if it, if it doesn't work out, we'll try something. I was like, well, I'll have to just sort of stow away and see if I can't find something. It's really that start. The only time we haven't destroyed today is when we've gotten a bad start. So let's get a good start. It's all just about the luck of the draw here. Let's see. Okay, that's a good card. That's actually a dangerous card. Unless he has a good counter to it, that is a very dangerous card to go against turn one with the, the stipulation as well. So that's what we're playing turn one right here, 2-2, two, two, because a 2-2 two, two start card's always so good. I got some things working for me here, so we're gonna go ahead do that and play it here. Doesn't matter where we play it at this point. All right. It, it's such a scary card to go against as well, you know? Because he's gonna get a 1-1 one, one at the end of the turn. See, now he's a 2-2 two, two and he's gonna get to 3-3. Three, three. Really, my best chance, play that there and then put the suitcase on him. If he doesn't have any buffs for him, then great, but that's, that's gonna bounce the zombie, right? Oh no! Ooh, that's bad news bears. That is bad news bears, but I can put you here. And at least you can survive this turn and... No, is that what he does? Is he the plant version? He is. I I didn't even know that. I, I mean, I did, but I didn't realize it until now. What does this do? This, that's not, these aren't nuts or berries, so... That's not gonna help too much, is it? Hmm, this is not good. Not good one bit. Ooh, man, he really knows how to get an upper hand. And I can't play my card or he's gonna get another big boost. All right, I'm gonna, I don't wanna do this, but we need to take him out. He's too much of a threat right now. All right, hopefully he doesn't have any response to that. Like, hopefully he doesn't have anything that's gonna take care of my uh, zookeeper here because I really need the zookeeper to take him out right now. Because tricks and just sort of playing this smart. Oh, come on. Ah, oh, that stinks. That really, really stinks. And I can't play this card, or it's just going to cement me like further into the ground. That is really tough. The fact that he can get the pea pods out too is like the really big nail in the coffin. Please let this be. It's not what I want it to be, but that's probably a mistake to put that on him, but it's what I'm gonna do. Wow, and he gets, yeah. I mean, I should know, you know, but I... 
Oh man, I am so not gonna win this game. Yeah, I am so not winning this. I just don't know how I could. Let's just go ahead and throw you out. And then, I mean, what more can I do really? What more can I do? And just beef this guy up as much as I can and hope that he smacks him hard enough that I get a surprise win, but I can't, as long as this dude's holding around, because he can out gain that damage all day long. I'm definitely finding the flaws in this build now. We got a really good start, but when it's going again, whenever you go against the boss, that's when you realize how much your butt's getting kicked, you know? It stinks, because it's just like, hmm. Yeah, it looks like there's gonna be GG. I'm gonna be doing more damage than him this turn, but that's just this turn. Oh, man. I'm about to, you know, throw up that white flag myself. I'm about to surrender. Cause like, what more can I do? Holy cow. That is like the toughest thing in the world. And it's just like, there, I could go ahead and take care of you. I might as well also move the torchwood in front of the bean, but do I want to do that? Mm. All right, I got a nine nine there. That's pretty good. Well, I could actually put him behind like that. That'll, just, that'll help me for the moment. All right. I'm about to lose here regardless, so it's just, dang. I'm just gonna have to wait until I get a really good start. Well, I accidentally pressed buy it back. <laughs> Did not mean to do that. Luckily, it was only 100 coins. Well, let's see what we got. Oh, hey, I don't have this one. Vamp, vampire. This gets plus two, two, one destroys a plant. Cool. I accidentally spent 100 coins, yay! I think. Oh no, I spent 100 gems, didn't I? Come on, game, why do you have to throw those like little advertisements up? Oh, that stinks. Oh well. Oh, now he's making me regret not playing anything that first turn because he didn't play anything. It could have gotten such a good start, but you can't bargain on that, you know? Ooh. I'm gonna go ahead and place Gunk Punk. If anything scary comes my way, I do have a minus one one. Okay, I can go and destroy him. Just destroy him, get him out of here. That is not a fun card. Instantly destroyed, doesn't even matter if he gets his buff because he's dead. He's gone, he's part of the ground now. And we get that first bit of damage, which is great. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and play that right there. I'm gonna call that a turn, or at least a uh, half a turn. Whew, okay, a plant gets plus two, two. Okay, that's gonna put you back down to that. Which isn't too pleasant. Oh, but I have to move you. That's stinky. That is very stinky. All right, if I have to move you anywhere, I'm just gonna move you right here. Because what else can I do? Oh man, I'm being put in, like he's out playing me. He is out stinking playing me. All right, well we're gonna do the same amount of damage to him as he's doing to me, and if it was like this forever, we'd slowly get more and more damage because we got two instances of plus one one. But it's not gonna stay that way. All right, I wanna put you here, I wanna put you there. That's gonna give you a boost enough to hit him hard, but not hard enough. Okay. Okay, that's fine. I think that's okay. Cause we're not gonna be in a horrible state after this. Like, I mean, we're still not gonna be in a perfect state, but we're gonna be okay. Sort of. <laughs> sort of kind of okay. All right. I'm just gonna let this roll, because I really wanna play this. Ah, okay. Gotcha, caught you out there. And so he's probably gonna get a shield here because the game really likes him. Ah, oh, yep, 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 there he goes. Oh, come on. Oh, I, he gets it so much. Like This is like the fourth or fifth game I've played that you guys haven't seen. He gets it so much, it's just never ever fair. All right, um, the best thing I can do is throw this out. He won't be able to do any damage to it, so. I just get, I like I I have to play these cards because the more cards I have on the field that he can't take out, the better I'm gonna be later in the game. So it's like, even if I have no cards, I need to do this. All right, because that's big hitting right there. And there's gonna be a bigger hit next turn. And hopefully he doesn't take this stuff out for a while so I can build my cards back up from here, but he's probably going to pull some crazy stuff. Never mind. <laughs> Man, it's like that's sort of the thing with boss fights. I do have to say is that it's never just like you finally found what makes him tick and you defeated it. It's like you just get lucky. Eventually, you know, you just get the better cards than he does. 
Like, we could win in the next two turns easy. Blend as a bonus attack. That's still not gonna take me out here, dude. I mean, it will next turn, but I'll still have an insane card advantage. And this is what I'm saying. It's like, I haven't found the secret to beating him. I just sort of finally got a better hand than he did. And I, maybe that's just the only thing. And I'm not saying that's bad. I'm just saying it's it's just my interest, like an observation I found interesting. Is it sometimes that's all it takes? All right, we're gonna win this turn. I, I honestly think. Like either it's gonna happen here, or he's gonna get a shield. That shield's not gonna save him from this. Bada bing, bada boom, we finally win. So that definitely was a shorter episode than normal, I think, but it could have been shorter if that boss fight wasn't so menacing. So overall, we had a good time there. All right, 100 coins for us. It won't really fill that gap of the 100 gems I accidentally spent, but I mean, besides that, you know, we're good, we're good. We spent, we, we, we were able to spawn in three gargantuars though, so we got something out of that, which is nice and cool. But I guess then the next time we play, we'll do Bean Barrage and Barry Battle Battalion, maybe. But with all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Plants vs. Zombies Heroes. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give this video a like, share it with your friends and family, and of course, comment in the comment section below. If you watched this part of the video, make sure you comment Combustible Zebra so I know you've watched the end of the video and that you're a zebra-tastic viewer. But on the way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.